Have you ever thought you might participate in a mercy killing? What is more respectful, to burn the body or to bury it? And the most challenging question, how to stay optimistic after the death of a relative? And it shall be at the end of the days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be firmly established at the top of the mountains, and it shall be raised above the hills, and all the nations shall stream to it. And many people shall go, and they shall say, Come, let us go up to the Lord's mount, to the house of the God of Jacob, and let him teach us of his ways, and we will go in his paths. For out of Zion shall the Torah come forth, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Hi, and blessings to the last part of this serious cycle of life of an Orchide and how to fill it up with connection with God. Life is beautiful, but it comes to an end one day. There is no human culture that does not have special procedures for the time when a person leaves this world. This is a very interesting step. Only in the last 6,000 years it started. When we see that a person is about to end his life, it is suitable for others to be near him or at least one person. A person needs to have a friendship at the time when he is about to leave this world. And it is suitable for the person who feels that his end of his life is near to confess his sins in front of the Creator, and to repent so that his soul will return to the Creator in a pure and worthy state. He should try to recite the verse, Here, Israel, our God is one, and those that uh, with him should help him with good words and support him. Again, it's an interesting state to move from this world to the other world. It is also vital to be careful not to hasten the person's death. For example, by adjusting the pillow under him, under his head, it might bring um, its equivalent, I will say, for murder. And there should certainly not be any mercy killing or mercy suicide. This is strictly forbidden. Life does not belong to us but to the one who gave it to us. And he is the only one, God, blessed be he, who decides when a soul will be returned back to him. Therefore, it is essential to protest against the many new types of laws that have spread around the world, which permit what is considered murder in the eyes of the Hebrew tradition. We need to be very careful with this. It's on the same level, we're not deciding when a person is coming to this world. But a person who dies deserves to be honored, and people should participate in his funeral. The accepted uh, practice in the Jewish tradition is to bury the dead. In modern times, new customs are being developed, such as burning the body. However, the Jewish approach, it recommends burial to show respect for the body, okay, which served as a dwelling place for the person and had the image of God during his lifetime. So we're burying the body and it should be not uh, humiliated. The only exceptions are organ donation which can save other lives, or assistance that can help science uh, advance, which are things that uh, build up credits for the person who died. But no act of emulation should be tolerated, and it is therefore best to bury the body. In some countries, because of all sorts of economic uh, conditions and whatever it is. So not always the, it's allowed to bury. And if the burning the body, is being, this is being chosen, it should be done respectfully 
And of course, it could be only done or valid for an Ochaid. And after this part of burying or finishing with a dead person, the burial site, a mourning period should be observed to show respect for the person who died, gradually assimilated the painful event and prepare for continuing living. Mourning is not despair or tragedy. Instead, it is a way of accepting the judgment of God, blessed be He, and uh, attempting to continue optimistically in the rest of my life, of the life of those who stayed alive. From a psychologic point of view, a person who has observed a mourning period can later return to entire and harmonious life. We already said the Hebrew costume is very optimistic. Part of the mourning ritual is for the mourners to remain at home and to accept visitors. In the Jewish tradition, this goes on for seven days. The mourners remain seated and do not get up for any visitors, even the prime minister, no matter what you know um, honor he is deserved. This uh, person who is coming, the guests do not use the greeting of the word. Shalom, blessing of Shalom, because it's a joyful word with a happy word. Then one should sit quietly next to the mourner when he's coming inside and not speak. Only after the mourner is deciding or starting to tell first few things. After a few days, family and friends can gather together seven days, five days, and prize the one who died, perform a mitzvah um, on their benefit, and try to learn from the positive elements of the person who died. Not to speak about the bad sides of this uh, person, because he already did repentance for those things. After people die, we try to say only good things about them. We are ignoring bad aspects of those people who died. Once a year, okay, the, we're trying to do a Memorial Day, Remembrance Day, for and visit the grave. A lot of people asking us if they can organize, if the father or mother were Christian, to organize a bit the shape of the grave. Yes, you can do this, even though it's idolatry, but you're not worshiping idolatry. Um, and one last point, while the body is staying with us here in our world, the soul is standing in front of God, being judged to its behavior. And one of the first, one of the six questions that there are, and the soul is being asked, is what have you done to bring the Messiah to our world? Um, this is a lifetime questioning. You can't do one act and say, I did it. No. And uh, working for your entire life, we inviting you to join the Noahide World Center or to the Noahide Movement and help with good deeds to bring our world to a better place, to the Messiah stage. You can see more in a lot of more details for a lot of things in the Brit Shalom book, and also, this is a Lachik deeds place. And also with the Brit Olam book, the prayer book. Let me bless, or let me say that God will bless you and your family with a long life, meaningful life. Much blessings. Shalom from Jerusalem, the city of the whole humanity, where people will ask the words of God. Today we have it a bit. Blessings and bye.